show lights. Boom! There we go. <laughs> Welcome to Relationship Talk with G's, where our conversations aim to keep you pleased. I'm your boy A1G's, and you are now welcome to the Guru's house. Take your shoes off when entering. All I did was hit mentioned you and that shit sat boop, 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 boop. That shit was hitting the rails in like two seconds. I got to try that for now on. It said mentioned you. As soon as I put mentioned you in there, that drone started going off the rails. That's crazy. But how y'all doing, man? Talk to me, man. We got to... um. I saw something interesting this morning and I just like, it was on my mind and I wanted to talk to y'all about it. I just did a uh, YouTube live. Uh, how you doing? Uh, I'm gonna call you Miss Rose. Cause um, remember that song? Baby, I could pay you to a kiss from a rose on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, but no, it, there was something on my mind and I'm just sending this out to a couple people. I did a YouTube live on this earlier um i did a youtube live on this earlier it was just like a short little 53 minute video so y'all want to check it out cool but i'm gonna talk about it on here too i don't care if it's one and a half people because you know what i'm saying what i saw this morning caught my attention and i'm gonna just get right to it man no waiting no punches held so this morning i was chilling and i uh, just laying down on the floor in my office nice carpet and i was uh doing my work my car work and stuff like that and um, long story short, I saw something on my phone that popped up on my screen by accident. I don't know if my hand accidentally hit something. And next thing you know, I look up, up at my, one of my phones and I see President Joe Biden on, on my screen. I'm like, what the hell? How did this pop up on my phone? And it showed a video of him um, at a press conference getting ready to sign an executive order to overturn the decision that the Supreme Court made on Roe versus Wade. That caught my attention. Let me tell you something. That was no accident. Period. That was no accident at all. Joe Biden signed an executive order overturning Roe versus Wade where the Supreme Court banned uh, abortions. Joe Biden pretty much said, you guys are fucking ridiculous. 
I have to turn this around. So let me explain something to you. This is something called checks and balances. Checks and balances, okay? And this is important. You have to know the importance of what a checks and balance is. So what is checks and balance? Checks and balance is the legislative power in which you have your three branches of power. You have the presidential, right? Then you have the um, legislative, right? Um, the people who make the laws. And then you have uh, the Supreme Court. You also have the Supreme Court. Okay? So, in this decision, right, I give a perfect example. And I'm going to read y'all comments in a few seconds. So, to understand how this turned out the way it turned out, people was uttering a whole bunch of bullshit about when the Supreme Court did this, okay? And you have to really look up, go back to school and look your laws up. The balance of power is put into place to where no branch of government has a dictatorship balance of, uh, has a dictatorship over the country. If the Supreme Court was the only thing that presided over the company when it comes to lawmaking and stuff like that, Oh no, law decisions, stuff like that, that would be the equivalent of a dictatorship. If the president only had the power to make decisions by himself and nobody else could could overrule it, that would be considered a dictatorship. No government, no man, nobody should have a decision on what a woman should or should not do with their body. Period. And although it was not a good decision that the Supreme Court made, it's never too late to turn it around and make it right. It's never too late to turn it around and make it right. So, let's look at some other things that I have here, okay? Just so you can read some of this. I'm going to take you to school. I'm going to take y'all to school today. Okay? Because we got to talk about it. Let's look at what uh, Joe Biden did, okay? And I'm going to pull it up on my computer, too, so you guys can read it. I hope y'all can see that well. Um, I wanted to put up a little presentation for y'all. This is what I had on uh, YouTube, so I just wanted to share with you guys, too, because I like y'all a lot, and I got to make sure I support my Instagram family. So, it says, Biden signs executive order on abortion. Declares Supreme Court is out of control. U.S. President Joe Biden said the Supreme Court decision overturning the right to an abortion was an exercise in raw political power. And raw political power. And signed an executive order today on Friday to ease access to services to terminate pregnancies. Biden, a Democrat, has been under pressure from his own party to take their action after the landmark decision last month to overturn Roe versus Wade, which ended up ended roughly 50 years of protections for women's reproductive rights. So I want to get right to it. It says the order directs the government's health department to expand. Not only does this overturn the decision the Supreme Court made, it also is putting in an order that we're going to expand the options for women to be able to get abortions at their choice. The order detects the government's health department to expand access to medication, abortion pills prescribed to end pregnancies and endure women to have access to emergency medical care, family planning services. You heard it. I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to stop right there because that's where it should stop at. That's the point, that's point dot decimal period, poo. That's where it should stop right there. For the rest of the information is history. This should have never happened in the first place. This should have never happened in the first place. There's some things that people can have discussions on and agree, argue, argue. This is not up for discussion. This is something that all men should agree upon, all women should agree upon. Nobody should be making laws of what women should do, what to do with their body. The only things that is implemented as far as where the law can apply is the legislation that they put out back in 1973 
where it shows that by law women have choice on the options they want to make should they be in a position where they have to abort. Situations such as if a woman is forced, forcefully forced to have sex. Okay, we're going to say it like that. We'll be sensitive with this. If a woman is forced to have sex and she gets impregnated, she needs to have the option to abort. If a woman had sex consensual, it was if the sex was consensual, if they intended to get pregnant, and they have health issues where the doctor tells them, look, you can't carry this baby, they should have the option to abort. Where the doctor should not have to feel like that he's going to go to jail if he performs something, where, where if he performs something, that's going to make them go to jail because they were doing something that's going to save their life. Or if it's something such as like, let's say something like incest, right? Think of, think of the, 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 the little girl that didn't know what she was going through. Think of the little girl that didn't know that what she was going through. And she has a permanent or the one that didn't know what she was didn't know what she was going through. It has to deal with that trauma the rest of her life. It, at least give her the option to abort. That's her body. Let me read the comments. I'm not gonna go all convolute, all long speed. I want I want you guys are part of this conversation. Let's talk about it. One person said, Women have too much power in real life. We up, they mad. They trying to stop something, and this was the only thing that they could stop. They said at the end of the day, uh, the government whack for real for real. That's why I don't get into government shit. Another thing that says, uh, somebody said, uh, that's the only option. And I believe in other than that, stop killing kids, close your legs and wear condoms. And I agree with that. But the op and, and, and let me say this the option to abort comes in a situation if you're put in a forceful it benefits people the most who was forced into a situation that they had no control over like uh, let's say sex trafficking let's say uh, I don't want to say that word the R word whatever the case may be um, you know if you was thirteen your cousins your uncles you were in that kind of situation trauma situ traumatized situation I apologize and um, you know, I, 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 that, that's important though. But you know what? At, at the end of the day, um, people should practice safe sex as well too. See, the thing is this. That affected the people the most that was in situations where like, if, if it's a health condition where they can't carry the baby. Now, let's say this. Let's say you guys, let's, let's off that topic. Let's, uh, Close this screen out. Let's get onto a different branch of this conversation right here. So let's say, right, the sex was consensual. Let's say the sex was consensual. You, was, you two and both agreed to have sex, right? A lot of people don't know how to practice safe sex. And somebody said this to me before. We had a conversation about this before. I was on somebody else's live. They said something that interested me. They said, let me put my glasses on, guys, tonight. They said that, uh, what's going on, baby? How you doing, Big Kappa? Um, Dior, shout out to you, walk me in the building tonight. They said that, do you notice, this came out of a female's mouth. Do you notice that men all the time carry condoms? Men, most men carry condoms. If you agree with that factor, put a one in the comment section. They said that females, a lot of times, don't carry condoms. So if a man want to have sex and she don't have the condom, she's expecting him to go to the store and grab the condom, right? But why don't both parties have condoms? Why do men and women have condoms? 
Sex is a value exchange. He wants the feeling of penetration. You want the feeling of being filled. Am I telling the truth, y'all? Sex is the value exchange. You want sex, he wants sex. You climax, he climax. That's a value exchange. Safe sex is important. I see a request. I got you in a minute. Safe sex is important. But the abortion thing becomes an important thing if you are put in an unfortunate situation where you have to make a health decision whether your body can handle it or not or whether you have to abort because it could affect your life or if you're put in a situation where you have a healthy body but you were forced to have sex. See, that's what an abortion should come into effect to where you should have that as a lifeline. Those lifelines were put into place in 1973, like I said, and they wrote that law, Order Number 410, liberating the right to choose different medications. That was one of the clauses that was written in the Fourth Amendment. Let's talk about it. We're gonna get the first person on live. We're not gonna, I'm not doing a panel tonight. I like when I talk to one person at a time. We have a better flowing conversation about it. Um, I'm gonna get the first person on live. Let's get busy. Guys, by the way, before we begin, tonight uh, I was on YouTube. I was just live on YouTube. So I figured I only did an hour on YouTube because I want to talk to my Instagram family. Tonight's bottle of the evening is Stella Rosa Blueberry. Stella Rosa. Stella Rosa Blueberry. That's um, my favorite. Can candle of the evening is uh, Clary Sage because we're going to put some peace in this room. You feel me? Clary Sage uh, for my uh, favorite brand, Essential Oils. Um, so, yep. Yeah. Um, so, let's talk about it, man. How do you feel about the decision, man? Talk to me. Let's talk. Well, you know I'm not politician. I don't, I don't get it's that. Not even about poli it's not about politics. It's, like, it's not about politics. You know, let's say it like that. It's not about being a politician. It's not about, it's about, it's about, from a woman's perspective, about women's life. How do you feel oh, well, about... I said, I said in the comments, that's how I feel. Like, I feel like at the end of the day, if you look at, let's go back some years. If we had, they had to vote to get women rights back in the day anyway. They never really wanted us to have power. They really never wanted us to be able to do certain things anyway, period. Okay, so pandemic hit boom you know how many women came up off the pandemic whether they did whether they got a ppp to get their business whether they did whatever they did to to get their business to be an entrepreneur to get an llc mm -hmm. to get an eia number to boss up like a real woman the ratio right now is women up you see what i'm saying so i feel like that we were getting we, we were doing too much they saying that you know what i'm saying in households nowadays not trying to be funny Women doing a lot of stuff that the men are supposed to be doing. You know what I'm listen, saying? Listen, listen. Let me say this. Let me say this. I want. I want to piggyback on what you just said. The pa I am a living test testament of the pandemic. The pandemic for some people, where the pandemic caused a lot of um, stress and financial burden, the pandemic was the best thing that ever happened to me. I have me not too. had a job. I have not had a nine to five job in over three years since that pandemic began. I never, I would never forget the day my boss, my general manager sent me a text. I was a supervisor at the airport and said, March 24th will be your last day due to the pandemic. You will be put off on hold on the side until work is available. Oh yeah. When, they finally, had work, when they finally had work available, they offered me three hours a day shift. You know what I told them bitches? I will collect my unemployment. Fuck out of here. And I changed my well, phone you know, number. That's why I spoke on that because the, the, the pandemic wasn't sad for everybody. I ate like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, my baby father did pass away during the pandemic. You know, I did have my baby early during the pandemic. But shit, after that, after I bounced back, I ate. So that goes back to what I was saying about women. There's a lot of women that's doing independent shit for real, for real. They didn't let the pandemic make them soft. 
You know what I'm saying? They didn't, they didn't get right. scared. They, they didn't let society scare them. And you know what I'm saying? All of that. So the government look at it like this, like, dang, we already ain't want to get weak. Women already ain't have rights anyway like that. So now they eating even more. You know what I'm saying? They they doing this. You got women with businesses, CEOs. There's millionaires and billionaires right now, now that are women. That's wealthy. Now, you know what I'm saying? So the you only were saying thing something earlier. You were saying something earlier how you was bringing it back into the, uh, as far as with the, the sex, the cons, abortion, stuff like that. So I got to bring it back into that. What were you saying? With sex? No, no, no. You, when I asked you, like, how do you feel about on the, the decision on stuff like that? You started all oh, about going back saying, to. Yeah, I was going back to how, like, women never, we, the, the way the system is set up, they never wanted us to have rights anyway. If you know anything about the ancestors and back in the day, women couldn't do half of nothing that we can do right now. We didn't, we couldn't vote right. if you like to vote. We you're couldn't right, go right. out and work like a man could go out and work. We were supposed to be in the house taking care of kids, woo, 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 that, this and the third. They looked at us differently. Now, it's like the tables then turned some because I'm not trying to knock men off the pedestal, but it's a lot of men that ain't doing manly stuff. There's a lot of women that stepped up to the plate to do what they need to do to make sure that their foundations are what's up. So, the government felt like that's the only thing that they could could take from women because there's nothing else. What else could they take from us? Honestly, think about it. What else could they possibly take from us? Because really, they gave they it, the option was given to women that wanted to do that originally, right? Right. It was the option, right? Mm -hmm. It wasn't always the option back in the day that you couldn't go get no abortion. So it was just like how the president had to sign a bill and they had to go up for the House of Representatives and Congress and all that stuff. It just came back around again. You see what I'm saying? Right. It's mm -hmm. time again. Because guess what? It can be turned over. You see what I'm saying? It could get, everybody can go vote when it's time to go vote. And it could be, the bill could get put back on to where women have the right to go do whatever they want to with their body. Right. So if you look at it like that, instead of looking at it as all oh, the, I don't know. Some people just taking it the wrong way. Some people just taking it. And I really feel like it's the ones that condone in that type of activity. Like, I don't knock nobody for what they do. But I agree with you. If you've been molested right. or if you've been taken advantage of, by all means, you see what I'm saying? You shouldn't want to have to take care of something that you really wasn't ready for or you didn't ask for or you didn't want because somebody took advantage of you. You see what I'm saying? If you young and you out there doing what you got to do to a certain extent because, you know, nowadays these kids know what they're doing. You see what I'm saying? They know that if you're going to go do that, you should go be using protection. Or they just don't have no guidance at home. But in some families, you got the parents that it's okay for their kids to go do that because they don't want their families to know or they don't want their they, they child to, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's different scenarios. But for me, I don't agree with it. Like, if you molested or, you know what I'm saying, you have a health issue or something like that and you can't carry a child, then I guess. But I was the, the woman that was in that situation. I had a, a health issue. I had my daughter at the end of my week. If they would have gave me that option, I still would have carried my child. Period. Right. It wouldn't be no, oh, well, yeah, let's just go ahead and abort the child because what you said, I got a high power. I don't care what you told me. They told me my daughter wasn't going to make it. They told me a lot of stuff when I had my baby and was in the hospital. But get what? She's three years old. You but can't but guess her. what? But guess what? You had the most important thing is you had the power of choice. So if you didn't want to do it, right. and we have a, a regulation in place in the Supreme Court saying that you can't abort because you don't have that choice, that's unconstitutional. You know I mean, what I'm saying? So that that what makes it an outburst if we don't have the choice, not we, if you don't have the choice as a woman to abort if, if you wanted to go that route. Well, see, that's you know what I'm thing. saying? If it was one second. One uh, YKB, can you put a comment? I don't care. Just put like a like a period or a dash or something. Um, I want to make you a moderator because if you see any goofy shit in this live tonight, uh, I'm, I'm going to just let you uh, 86 them, knock them out. Um, cause I intend on more people hopping in, but just put like a dot or a period or something like that. But yeah, if you see, if you I see never anything. I said that I didn't agree with us not being able to have with them. Cause I don't need that choice. I can't have any more kids and I don't like Right, no, 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 no. I get what you're saying. Like you, 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 you have a, you said you have a spiritual higher power. You said where, where, you know, like you feel like if this is the direction that you're going to pray for, for to go this way, you're going to go to your spiritual belief and, and direct yourself in that direction. But if you had the choice, but if you, if you wanted to make the choice, you should be able to have that option without the government telling you what to do with your body. So that's I mean, yeah, pretty much I what I'm saying. Be, I don't care about the government anyway. So to me, that wouldn't even matter to me because I, I don't see I'm a different type of person. Yeah, I know we have laws and things we have to go by, but as long as you ain't out here molesting nobody, 
beating up kids, kicking in folks' doors, murdering people just because weird ass shit like that, bro. Live your life. You see what I'm saying? I don't get down with a lot of stuff because of the fact that it's controlled so much by man. That's what the government right. is. That is man. Right. You see slim, what I'm saying? Slim, slim, the, slim the guy at ATL says women are more privileged than men. It's not fair to tell women they don't have the right nor the power to choose what they want to do. Absolutely. Um, I agree. I agree. But how are women mm -hmm. more privileged than men? No, no. I, wait a minute. I read the whole thing. But I was talking about the part where like they don't agree, uh, where they they I'm shouldn't have the right the to whole choose them. In itself, the first yeah, thing so they said was women are. You said more women are more privileged than men. Than men. Can you answer that uh, for me, Slim? Because I know. Uh, Slim. I personally know Slim. So Slim, oh. I would like to know why do you feel? Because we've had deep conversations. Why do you right. feel like that women are more? That's I feel like if anything, the way I look at it is women and men can be equal. The only thing that a woman can't do is get a man pregnant. I mean, the only thing a, a woman can't do is get another woman pregnant. That's it. We can do 85%, 95% of anything that a man can do. I'm gonna pin everybody, I'm gonna pin everybody's comments as they come along. So if I don't get to it, that's because I'm I'm still talking about the current ones. So I'm gonna pin every comment. So it clips you next. I'm gonna pin yours too. But but yeah. But um, let me just say something about that. Women are more privileged than men. In what in what way do you feel like um, women are privileged to men, Slim? I, I, I put it in the comment section or something, or hit yeah, the request. I, I just want to know. And, and, and in the meantime, while we wait, like... let, let's get to the next comment because I I don't want to I don't want us to get to a freeze or a stumble or something like that uh, until they answer. All right. So um, Eclipse Nikki said, I think it's population control. I don't think it became a problem until it became a white woman problem. Say that shit again. I agree. Most definitely. Everything the government do is population control. That's uh, everything they do. That's what it is. COVID, population control. The I war, find something interesting. Control. I find something interesting. Did you, did you see the, um, the video, uh, the Trump rally? I don't watch stuff like that. Sorry. Okay. So, right. You don't get to follow <laughs> So there was a video from the Trump rally, okay, and uh, pretty much, whew, I'm going right. to pull it up. I got it right here on my phone. And, but basically, she was basically saying, thank you for saving white lives. Who said that? It was a congresswoman. Guess what? She Republican. Oh, you better best believe it. It was a Trump rally. Yeah, I know this. I'm just saying. It was a Trump rally. So, yeah. Uh, rally. That's why I don't watch stuff like that. That man, that junk ain't half that junk ain't even real. They just be putting that junk on TV. TV and movies is what distracts people. That they know that's gonna be the way for they know people sit in front of TVs, people sit in front of their phones. That's the easiest way for them to be able to Yes, thank you, ancestors. Where was it at? On the flow. But it wasn't there earlier. Listen to this. Listen, listen to this. If you can hear this well. Can you hear it? Can you hear it clear? I hear. All right, all right, I'm going to play it. Omar laughed that Americans speak of Al Qaeda in a menacing tone and remarked that you don't say America with this intensity. You say Al Qaeda makes you proud. And that video already turned. Oh, look at y'all little lovebirds. <laughs> I catch everything. Sorry. Oh, by the way, let me just put the disclaimer out there, everybody. Um, on Relationship Talk with G's, you wave your, you wave your rights to all privacy in the comment section, on Instagram, on YouTube, on the phone calls, and on oh, video everything. chat. everything. You get on this show, you got to sign your whole John Hancock. And so uh, if you come on to uh, you, if you come up on here, I'll make you famous. That's right. He going to make you famous, baby. Yeah, because that's going to be on YouTube. You, your ass going to be on YouTube. <laughs> Um, but yes, but um, no, but like she says, I think it's population control. He said, Y'all were never meant to have rights, which is sad. 
I mean, it is that we I said that originally. Women were never, they never wanted us to have any type of power. Like I said, nothing against men, because I love my melanin men. Like I love my kings. But at the end of the day, they've never wanted, we've always been people have always been intimidated by women, whether whatever race you are. It don't matter your skin color. I mean, more by us. You see what I'm saying? But it don't matter. Women in general. Do you mm -hmm. not hear the word woman and women has what yeah. in it? Men, men. Men. Right. Like, so at the end of the day, they, they wanted us to always be controlled or always be told what to do by a man or a authority of somebody that's over us. Like, it's interesting. It's interesting you say that because they say women were made from a man's rib, right? A man, a man, a man, woman. Who who determined to make the word W O? Ain't that interesting? Very, very much so. I used to think about that all the time. Like, who started the first word? I don't know. That can be something we could look up. But let me read this to you, right? So, oh, yeah, I can't put it on here. So it says, uh, just so y'all understand where Roe versus Wade came through in the first place. Roe versus Wade, okay, was a landmark, okay, uh, order number 410, uh, 1973, was a landmark decision of the U.S. Supreme Court in which the court ruled that the Constitution of the United States generally protects the liberty to choose to have an abortion. The decision struck down many federal and state abortion laws and fueled an ongoing abortion debate in the United States about whether or to what extent abortion should be legal. Who should decide the legality of abortion and what the role of moral and religious views for the political sphere should be? The decision also shaped debate concerning which methods the Supreme Court should use in the constitutional adjudication. So that's what was put into place in back in 1973. That's where the fuck it should have stayed. This so my whole thing is, what you reading that, I just had a thought in my head. So if y'all taking away a woman's right to abort her child or not, why y'all ain't taking the, the way the rights of birth control? Because birth control isn't good either. You give a woman the option to get birth control, put on her uterus or a shot in her body to give to stop her from having kids. Exactly what Eclipse, exactly what uh, Eclipse said. It's population control. My point. Be and and guess what? How many people did we lose during the pandemic? A lot. We lost almost a million people. A lot. That's a lot of lives to be gone. Population control takes a lifetime if you're healthy to live it takes an instant snap for you to die because if you really think about it the government really don't want all these problems that's about to come with this law that they just passed they really don't because you about to have just think about it like this there's a lot of women that do have kids that really do get abortions every child they get they get an abortion to be honest i know some girls that don't have no kid because they didn't got an abortion every single time so now they can't get abortions. So now you just about to have a lot of women angry, mad, ain't stable enough to have kids. If the, the law wouldn't have passed, they would have went to the abortion clinic and get, got an abortion. So now you're just about to have a whole bunch of kids that really didn't want to be here. You see what I'm saying? So you really just add more problems to the equation, but they don't care about that. Because it's just going to turn back around. Wait, watch. When it's time to vote, because I don't vote. I voted two times my whole life. When it's time to vote, it's going to turn back around because everything, this is just a distraction right now, man. How we in a war with Ukraine and other countries, but now y'all passing bills for people, for women to not have a right to control their body or not. Like, where did this come from? It just fell out the sky. Honestly. Right. Like, how y'all, y'all can't be that bored in the government world till y'all got time to even do this. What about the war? What about the war? What happened to COVID? Yeah. The TV failed. Yeah, because yeah, you can't for what? How the TV fall, AJ? Okay, so but, um, the court, the court. but let, let me let me let me let me tell you this. So the question is, what's next? The question is, 
You hear me? Oh, she got on mute. So the question, so, so where, do you, where do you, from a woman's perspective, where do you think this is about to go? Because you know this is not over. Oh, yeah. I mean, I really just feel like, like I just said, it's just about to be a lot of angry moms, a lot of women that don't want to be pregnant, that's going to be like, damn, now I got to sit here and carry this baby for nine months. Or even if you sick and you, people, women die carrying kids. So a lot of that can happen, sadly. You see what I'm saying? It's about to be a lot of men out here just putting babies in folks because they, it's a lot. It's about to be a lot of trapping. It's about to be a lot of folks getting trapped because now you, they know you, you. What you gonna do? Take a plan B? You cut off abortion, but you still can go to the store to get a plan B. So what's the difference? There is none. Oh. So yeah, it's just about to. It's just a distraction. In a couple months, we ain't going to hear. But after, whenever you're supposed to vote again, when the people can vote, when America can vote, it's going to go back to regular. Because it's man, more people, that, man, want, it's more people that want this law to be in effect than it is that don't want this law to be in effect. That's what people don't understand. Whether they speak on it or they don't speak on it, whether they're true to it or they're not true to it, there's a lot of people that are for abortion. I'm, I, I ain't going to lie. I'm scared to see who the, who the next president finna be. Me. At this point, anything is better than, you know, I don't want to say that <laughs> I have to. Anything is better than Biden or Trump or pretty much. You want to watch TV. You got the TV. Get out my face. Because here's the thing. I say this to say is, perfect example. You know how everybody blamed Biden for this? You know everybody blamed Biden for this, right? You do know that, right? You don't have to be watch politics to know that. The president gets blamed for everything because he's the face of the country. This is what I was talking about the other day. This was what I was talking about the other day to that young lady when she said she blames men for everything with no direction or reason behind her position that she was that she failed to defend when she said all men ain't shit it's like saying blame the president for everything the president does not make all of the decisions there is three branches of power so this is what i was talking about when i say when i was telling the young lady when she asked me, because I'm going to talk about this, when she asked me, geez, uh, what is it that I can do to be a better submissive woman? Yes, we're talking about this tonight, because I got time, because I got nothing but time, because... Oh, no, okay. it's only funny, because... <laughs> what she said, she probably was just pissed. I would have just been quiet after a while. Like, I wouldn't even say anything else. Like, cricket. What they say? She said. They... The... Nope. Nope. This is what she said. Yeah, that was after a while. I'm Inspe like, oh, no, 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 no. Instead of her being that, she kept running her mouth. Until I shut the comments off. And she couldn't say anything anymore. Because we had got personal. And just like the road runner, she went, me, me, pew, gone. Because she couldn't handle your guru. Because what she was saying was stupid. What she was saying was stupid. She had no reason, no reasoning behind what she was saying. She was just saying all men ain't shit. She had a lot of trauma inside of her that she that had, that had not resolved. But we were as as women, even the women in the comments, and I think a couple of men said the men said the same thing. Like we understand I had a man about that the trauma. The we understand I had a about the trauma, but you have to heal from that. And sometimes you don't heal completely, but you can't always feel like that what one person did to you, everybody else is gonna do for you. I had a man that was a, there was a man that joined the comment section. He's somebody that always always watched my content. He was in here, he listened for 60 seconds. I counted it. 
He was in there for 60 seconds and heard her talking. And the first thing, the first thing that he said was, that's the first thing that he said in the comment section. He didn't know what the fuck was going on, but he knew what he heard enough to say, this girl is not healed. This girl is damaged. When she couldn't get her way, what she started to do? Shame, insults, guilt, and the need to be right. She just had to be fucking right. It was just she the was, two different characters for me because she got on the live. Very slow And from, guess what? And, you didn't see it. I saw right through that shit then when, she was speak, when I was speaking to her on the thing. And you were trying to get back on. This is why, I, I'm going to tell you why that I didn't put you back on right away. Because when I do panels, people unintendedly overtalk each other. I, I purposely did not put you back because I wanted to have a conversation with her because you kept overtalking. And I wanted to hear what she had to say. I wanted to give her room to either put herself in a winning position behind her defense or bury herself. And she didn't do... She didn't I didn't do want it. you saving her. That's why I didn't let you come back on right away. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. That's why I did that. Because I knew everything she was saying was bullshit from the moment she started speaking. When she said, I'm a submissive woman. You're a submissive woman. What is it that you can do? What is it that I can do, Jeans, to pull off a man? That's what she said. That's exactly if you were a submissive woman... You wouldn't be having a conversation from a guy from Instagram and YouTube. You don't know me. You coming onto my show asking me for advice. You're not submissive. That's why you're coming for help. And you're not coming to a female. You're not coming to female peers. Damn, you didn't even at least come to the single people, the single female friends that you shouldn't be coming to because that's bad people to get advice from. You came to a man on Instagram. And then she know how I pop my shit, so. I didn't know that you knew her. Yeah, I didn't tell you that to afterwards. So that's why I said the only part that shocked me, everything else she was saying, you you kept hearing me saying I didn't agree with it. I wasn't agreeing with what she was saying. That's why I wasn't saying nothing. But it was just funny how she came on the video like she wanted to learn something because she started with the ancestry with the horoscopes and all of that. Like she wanted to learn something. Woo, 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 woo. And then right. when she got back in the comment section, it was like a totally different person. Right. That's what so I was you, talking so, about. So, so, like she says, look, right? Uh, Clip says, most people are broken and traumatized and don't know it. Fine. She knew it. But, but, but he, 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 here's, my, here's my thing. But she's right. You get what I'm saying? But in this case scenario, she knew what the fuck was up. She knew what was going on. That's why she came on here. Like every other person that comes on here, when they, when they come in the stage of wanting advice, if you come on here, that means your views on everything, whatever it is that you're doing, something's not working. So I need some type of direction that I can consider from somebody else. So who does she choose? She could have chosen all the people in the world. She chose a stranger man from Instagram and YouTube. So if you're doing that, the least you can do is listen to what the fuck I got to say. Listen to what I have to say. She was all in her masculine. That shit was given all in her masculine. And this is how it started. When she said these four letters, everybody say it with me. R R O O T C. <laughs> ROTC. What the fuck did ROTC have anything to do with anything? <laughs> you kept trying to say no. She was saying ROTC because of this. I was you reading kept... her comment. That's what she was saying. And was guess trying what? To and guess what? You. Guess what? You were trying to defend her. That's fine. I was not going to let you do that. I was not, I'm not letting y'all get your I hearts off. I, I, saw, off of, I saw ROTC in a different I was manner. Based off of. I didn't even. No, no, that. I get what you're saying. You said something about that. No, no, no. I know. I was going off just because she said, I only said that because you brung up. Um, And guess what? That's her position that she's playing. 
Right. That's the position that you play. So when her. I see something, I see something, and I and I see something within what she's saying. That's what I saw. When I saw R O T C, all I saw was S T C. Stop the cat. I didn't see an R O T C. I saw an S T C. Stop the cat. How you doing? Sit the scientist. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Bliss2414, how you doing? But yes, she was full of she was full of it. She was full of it. And she said it herself. She said she would be okay if her man cooked and cleaned and stuff like that. Stayed at home. That is um that is a that is a woman in her masculine. Modern day woman and her masculine. And I guarantee you, if she do, she probably was lying the whole time about not having a man. She probably home driving this man fucking crazy. Who are you asking, baby girl? It's a question. She says, what do you consider submissive? I'm curious. Are you asking a man perspective? Or yeah, she's, 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 asked, she's I, I'm sure she's asking me. I'm sure. Okay. Let me, let, let me explain to you what I consider submissive. Okay. Friendly, okay. Cooperative, okay. Somebody who is an inspiration to him, understands his be his peace, his helpmate, his helpmate. Not what a submissive person is not. Oh, what a submissive person is not is a slave. It is not bowing down to him. It's being a cooperative, loving, nurturing partner to your man. What is wrong with that? And she came on the show asking, how can she be submissive to her man? So I was trying to tell her some of these things. She wasn't trying to hear because at the end, her true colors came out. And I wish I would have screenshotted some of these comments because I would have put them in PowerPoint presentation style right on YouTube. Her ass would have been famous. I'll make you famous. I'd have made her ass famous. So, and, and she lucky she wasn't on on a video chat saying that bullshit because I would have took a clip of her voice and I would have added it to my soundboard. She is she is she's the definition of a modern woman, and she's the person at home manipulating her 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 men. She said, "Oh, he can go ahead and cook and clean." She she was like, "I was in the ROTC. We don't care if you was in the military. <laughs> That's not what men care about." She thought about everything that she wanted, and she didn't think about a damn thing about what he wanted. It's about what we want, not what you want. That was her problem. She was all inside of herself. There was no saving her. That's why I didn't let you back on because I wanted her to show who she really is. I wanted her to show who she really is. That's shit she yeah, was saying. She didn't, she didn't show that side. The, the side that we seen in the, and when she was camped up with you both times was not the person she was in them comments, regardless of if she was in them comments, if up here by herself with you or not. She was not talking like she that. Was, she she, she, was she, she the type of person that she should be like, she should be like this. I give you some, you take out the trash. She, 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 she she's a manipulator. Talking. She, did not she talk is a. Like that she got back in the comments. I get, I, get, I get what you're saying, but the bottom line is this. And I'll shut the comments off again because the bottom line is this. I just want her to understand that if you want to be with somebody, you have to understand what he wants and what you, uh, uh, and it has to align with what both of you wants. She could be in the comments. That's fine. I said what I said. Wait. What did you say again? I said what I said. It's the truth. If you want to be with somebody, anybody, if any of y'all want to be with somebody, I don't care if it's a female and a female, you cannot think about what you just want. 
You have to think about what we want. Life is about people. Life is about people. And you cannot live life selfishly. You cannot live life selfishly. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm going to be honest with you. I'll give it to her because she stayed in there for a good while. And she put up a fight. She put up a fight. I haven't seen one of these fights in a long time. The last person that put up a fight with me like this, they blocked me. They tagged my page. They blew me up uh, uh, on their thing. And they did a whole podcast dissing me. And this was another content creator. And this wasn't off of something like what she did. This person, what they did was worse. They went to war with me on something that they, that they misinterpreted what I said. She knew what she was saying. I was just bringing it out to light on how men think about what she was saying. That's all I was saying. If you ask me, she did an excellent job last night. Uh, 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 you know, getting the waters tested. I appreciate her coming on, and I would love for her to come back. I would love for her to come back. You know what I'm saying? Because we have to have these conversations. We have uh, and these podcasts and stuff like that, where you have conversations about relationships and stuff like that, men and women alike, you have to be ready to agree to disagree. We're not going to agree with everything. But where it started going off the walls is when she started saying stuff like, which one was what made you worse? The gorilla? The lion? You saw that, right? I'm like, all right. Now, 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 I'm like, what's I, I saw was that? Confused at that I, point. I, I'm like... <laughs> I'm like, okay, all right, all right. You got to chill now. You got to chill, right? Um, let me add her real fast. I don't know who that was last night. Who was that lady? What was her name? Talia. Talia? Yeah, it was a team. Oh. A How you doing? What's hey. up, bro? What's going on? I'm lost about what the fuck are you talking about. I came in in the middle of the conversation. All right, I got you. So, um, give me a second. Uh, I'm gonna put you back on in the, in a minute. Um, Dior, all right. Let me let me talk to her for a little second. I'm gonna put you back in the uh, take you out the pulpit. As a matter of fact, Dior, I'm gonna put you as a moderator. Um, monitor what's going on. If you see something, um, let me know first. Don't just put them out. You get what I'm saying? I'm gonna see what's going on. Um, it might be somebody that's just playing around, you know what I'm saying? But it's okay. So let me tell you what we were talking about here, okay? Uh, okay. So we started off with the road versus Wade conversation, right? We started off with road versus Wade uh, about how this morning I was relaxing and I accidentally touched my phone because I was laying on the floor. And I, I looked at my phone and Joe Biden was on my phone. And mm -hmm. it was an announcement that he was making and it was live of him signing an executive order to cancel the decision that the Supreme Court made on Roe versus Wade. The abortion thing, right? Right. Okay. So I had a YouTube live earlier. I went live on YouTube for an hour. I shut it off and I took it to Instagram. And I was talking about that. I wanted to know what everybody thought about it. I wanted to see if anybody knew about it. I see there were some people there that I didn't even know that happened. I wanted to know their thoughts on it. So we mm -hmm. started off with that conversation. Um, and Dior just jumped on and she gave her opinion on it. And then um, we was talking about the, uh, I was telling her about and everybody about the balance of power. Right? Right. Not, no, no one should have that much power, first and foremost. Nobody should have a decision on what a woman does with the, her body. They, mm -hmm. That's why they implemented the law back in 1973, uh, order uh, number 410. Uh, this is a section clause of the Fourth Amendment, um, giving women their rights to have a choice to abort. This benefits women the most if they're in situations where they were either forced to have sex or if they were in a situation where they cannot, they don't, they're not in the best of health to carry the baby. Right. That's who it benefits the most, right? So I was saying that to say that not only they shouldn't have that decision to do that, Okay, um, they should be able to, that's why they have a balance of power. So where they have the Supreme Court, they have the president, they have the legislature, the people that write the laws, 
-hmm. They have the judicial, then they have the presidential. So the president override, if the president can veto something, right? Um, Congress can veto his veto, right? I was so about to say, decision. but the, the Supreme Court is the people that has the highest... Uh, no, people. they are equally balanced power with the president. Okay. No branch can have more power than the other. Otherwise, it will be deemed as a dictatorship. So what I was saying was, the people have to do their history and understand certain things. A lot of people just kept blaming Biden, blaming Biden, blaming Biden, saying that, oh, you did this. Okay. The president is what? The face of the country. So they, yeah, I'm they not really in it. Um... So the president is the face of the country. So the, the, by, by default, they blame everything on the president. Right. And they have to realize that there's three balances of power. Right. Right. So I was saying that to say that, and I brought this into a different conversation, to say that just like everybody just blames the president for everything, the same way that modern day women just say all niggas ain't shit <laughs> without giving valid reason. Right. When, it, when they're not digging into the legis the, all the, the, the little schematics in the legislature and all the little details as to why your men that you pick ain't shit, not why all men ain't shit. Right. So that's where we got to the conversation. And I was using an example of the other night. We was alive where this woman just went off the walls. She came on my show asking me for advice. How can I be a better woman to miss a woman to her man? So how can she be a better to miss a woman to her man? So I was telling her some stuff. And she was very nice and soft spoke. We had a nice conversation. And we was on the live. And uh, Dior was on there. And um, you know, she was trying to like defend some of the things that she was saying, like not defend what she was saying. She was trying to take some of the comments that she was saying, say, well, she said this because of that. I'm like, no, 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 let her rip, rip through because she said something about being the RLTC. We were talking about, I said something about the government the other night. And she said, well, I was in the RLTC. What does the RLTC have to do with the government? It had nothing to do with the government. But she was trying to say, I said that because X, Y, Z. And I kept turning it into something else. And the order didn't see that I was trying to turn it into something else that this woman was saying. RLTC is what? Do you know what the RLTC is? It's a form of uh, the, during the military, correct? Exactly. And the military was once performed by all what? Men or women? At one point in time, law enforcement from police officers to army was performed by what? So let me tell you something. So, vast majority was men or women. I'm talking about back in the day. Let's go back to the 50s and all stuff oh, like that. You was a police yeah. officer. You ain't seen nobody in police uh, as a police officer, but, but who? Not women. Men or women? It was men. So when right. women get when women, hence the fact that women didn't have as much rights that men did back in the day anyway. Right. So when women had, we're in a world now where it's so liberated when women can be whatever they want to be. They can be a police officer. They can be a construction worker. They can be you know right. so long as but you know just because they're just getting into the those opportunities, um, you know for equal rights as men. Um, some women go into these fields. You know, they do it fine. But some modern day women who are in their masculine, they bring up these things to say, well, I was an RTC. Are you trying to compare yourself to a man? You I, know feel what like I'm a lot of, I feel like it's, a lot of women, that's like a defense mechanism. Or, that's or exactly. in them. Because of Thank what you. we just said, though. Like women, <laughs> I feel like it's, it's a, because women... Seconds. Women are finally able to speak out. Like, I do construction, you feel me? Like, right. when I first started construction, oh, a lot of men had a lot to say. Like, oh, you a female, and you should... Even a lot of women, like, when they see my Instagram page and they see that I do carpentry and I do flooring and tile work and all of that, like, oh, you should be that to a man. Why? Why can't, why can't I do this? Like... Right. So I just feel like that was just like a defense mechanism. 
You only heard this story for two. You only heard this story for for sixty seconds, and you can even tell that what she said was a defense back. I, that's exact. The Dior did I not say that last night? Uh, yeah, I, night before, but, oh, I said this on Wednesday. We had the show on Wednesday. Did I not say that? I said that was the, that was exactly what I said. I said that was a defense. That was a, actually I didn't say that. I said that was a deflection. That was a deflection. And I said that's your first problem. Right there. You're all in your masculine. A man don't want another man. And when she started getting disrespectful, I'm like, but, I'm like, but uh, men there you go, your two colors coming out. Too. I'm like, now you just putting your dick up. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna acknowledge your balls. No, but oh. look though, but look, coming from a, a woman's perspective, then you have to realize that a lot of females, like even down to like relationships, a lot of women are used to being that masculine person. If I'm used to dealing with a bum or a guy that feels like he doesn't want to work for the white man, but I get up every day and work for the white man and bust my ass off, you're now making me the masculine person in a relationship because you've clearly expressed that that's not something that you want to do, but I love you, so I'm going to make this shit work. You feel what I'm saying? You can... I'm going to let you get off but, the but, easy way but, 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 but did and you, be did on you, the block you, all day while I go to work and bust my ass. But did you... But, but did you... Um, but did you hear what you said and all, and all that? If if, if, if... if you want to... If you work, right? Basically, what you said was if you're working... And he's not working, right? Right. If you're if you if if you're used to, that's what you said. If you're used to right. dating <laughs> a bum, you chose him. No, but I'm saying that regardless of if it was my choice or not, that becomes that becomes I get accustomed to that. You see what I'm saying? If that's all that I, I seem to come come by. And I've come accustomed to dealing with somebody who I know doesn't want to work. I automatically become the masculine person in that relationship because this person doesn't want to be a man. And what is a man supposed to do? Provide? Then I automatically become the masculine person. And look at look at all these comments in. He says, "Oh, one person. Said, oh, hell no. Nah, she ain't no good woman. She a guy. Real shit. She a player. She got multiple guys. The relationship is not for her." They only heard this conversation for like 30 seconds and even they could even they could tell. He's asking her why she's single. You see this BS? Come on. Come on. Rob Rob got the popcorn out. He says she ran she had a chance to run her movie. She, she couldn't run it. She couldn't run it against your boy. You know? She had a chance to run her movie. Is this so, the lady that was on the live? This Amy underscore this was, she was on a no, 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 not her. That wasn't her. Oh, okay. Um, 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 it, it was um, another lady that was in the comments section, and I kept reading everything in the comments. I read it out loud because I think she forgot that on Wednesday I was doing an Instagram live. It was an Instagram only live, I didn't do YouTube. No, the intent was not to do YouTube, but I also had it streaming on YouTube at the same time. Okay. So I had to read. I had the Instagram phone. I had the feed running through the YouTube screen, but the feed went out. So I had to read every comment that came through, so YouTube can hear it too. Because I had an audience on YouTube too. I'm okay. telling you, this woman, and I want to say thank you, Talia, because you made me money last night. Mm -hmm. I had almost two hundred dollars in cash apps last yeah. night. My cash app was going off through the rails as soon as she started her rob stuff. So thank you for making yourself famous. Oh, you lucky my phone went off. You lucky my phone went off. Nope. Nope. <laughs> and turn that bitch back on. But no, no, uh, I see her comment. She says, I don't even know why you piss reminiscing this. Let it go. <laughs> no, no, we just had a conversation, man. But you know what I'm saying? But it, it was a good conversation. She 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 stood the waters. And here's the thing, how you know she just couldn't let go, because she said she had to go, right? Like, she, it was late at night. Mind mm -hmm. you, let me make something clear. I started 
the live at 12 midnight. I didn't end the live at 12 midnight. I started it at midnight. It was a grown folks conversation. Mm -hmm. I said, put the children in bed. We having a grown folks conversation tonight. The topic was called, what the hell was that topic called? The topic was called, um, um, it was something about heavens. It was something about how long can you last in the, in, in the bed pretty much before your check engine light comes on. <laughs> That's what the conversation started off as. So, and, 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 it, and it led into something different. So Where's when it the fuck did I'm that, when y'all be having these lives? Listen, we was on this live for four and a half hours because of that. We were supposed to be done a long time ago. She said I had to go. But guess what? This is how I know she just couldn't let go. Because she knew... I was right. And at that point, she was giving me shame, insults, guilt, and she just had the need to be right. And it was, I said, there it is, right there in the comment section. She was still on an hour later after she said she had to sign off because she got work in the morning. So why are you still on at 3 o'clock in the morning? Because she couldn't let go. She couldn't handle her own truth. Working man, big stretch, says she want to say something so bad. She just had to say something. She just had to be right. Instead of, instead of, my thing is this. If you're, some, and she started off by saying she's submissive to her man. If she's submissive to your man, why are you coming to a stranger that's from YouTube and Instagram asking me for advice? You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So that's that's all I was trying to say. But she, I mean, she she did a good job and stuff like that. She 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 didn't get crazy in, in, in the beginning when she was when she was actually on the video call. But in the comment section, if it, it made me feel like she was hiding behind the comment section, where she she just kind of like lost it there. It just started coming out the more I kept unraveling, and I was just trying to unravel it. So she says, Uncle says she will come over if you ask her. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you don't gotta tell your stories. <laughs> I'm cracking up. I ain't worried about that. The comment section said, I know them. <laughs> yeah, I know who stretches. <laughs> From the federal live. Mm -hmm. But, um, but no, that's what we were talking about. But, like, how do you, but, how, but let's, that's what I was saying. How do you feel about the Roe versus Wade decision that was made today? How do you feel about it? Give me your perspective from as a woman. Um, how do you feel about it when it first started? Take your time. And then how do you feel about the decision that was made today? What do you think this means for all women? So, wait, well, I, I, what was the decision made today? All right, so let's start. Let's start off from the beginning. Shout out to everybody that's joining in. Twizzy, 40, uh, 43rd Street, um, Black 54. Shout out to y'all. Um, so let's start off from the beginning. How do you, how do you feel about? All right, so when okay. it first started, yeah, how first, do you feel about that? The first hearing. Um, me personally, I just feel like anything after fifteen weeks, I agree with the. I agreed at first, only because I feel like after 15 weeks, you shouldn't be trying to kill a baby anyway. The only thing that I didn't agree with was when it comes to, like, the females who have to get an abortion. Like, I seen a post about a girl who was over 15 weeks pregnant and her baby developed some type of... Um, disease to where as though the baby was having seizures in her womb and the baby eventually died and she had to carry the baby full term she had to carry a dead fetus in her stomach full term because of the hearing and I just thought that was just like so corny but like girls who just get abortions just to get abortions on a regular they don't think about stuff like that, you know. We're not thinking about girls who really have to get abortions, like in cases like that. So it make you think about all of that after seeing that they trying to take that away from us, like even with like rape victims and shit. Like it's sad. It's sad that somebody can tell us what to do with our body. That's just a crazy part about it all right so now how do you with that being said 
How do you feel about the decision that was made today? Did what well, did did you first of all did you did you know about it until now? No. Mm -mm. You, all right. So now now that you know about it, how do you feel about uh, that? Really what, does this mean, what does this mean for all women? Number one and two. Do you think this is over? Yeah, I think it's a wreck for females. I think that this is. Uh, really make women think about a lot of the decisions that we make. Mm -hmm. Make them appreciate the bodies I'm, a little more, right? Right, right. That's what I that's what I was trying to say. All right, gotcha. I'm 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 out of here. <laughs> I know, I know you I know you soldiering on. But um Yes. So, you know, it was it was a good um that was a good conversation. Um Let's get uh Yeah, because I want to get different people's out uh outlook. Um uh, I'm going to try this person here. But yes. So you know, so like I was saying, you know, like it's going to be more get used to it because, and guys, just so you know, I go live every Monday at 9 p.m. on YouTube, Wednesday at 9 p.m. on Instagram, and Fridays at 9 p.m. So every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So Mondays and Fridays is YouTube. And Wednesdays is Instagram. But yeah, and we're gonna have a lot more controversial conversations about this. If you catch me on Instagram, I'm on Instagram every Wednesday at 9 p.m. Uh if I have to do a different time, if I have to do a different time, that's not a problem. I'll just let y'all know in advance. Now all y'all that's in here right here, all y'all that's in here, I will um uh invite y'all to my group. Uh, I have a, a private group called um, Podcast Notifications. That's a very elite group. Um, and uh, I'll add y'all on there. Y'all can be up to date. Uh, first one up to date when I do all my shows. Um, hey, how you doing? What's going on? I we took my wig off and took my braids out because I'm in pain. But I'm trying to get some type of <laughs> back in my life. So Stress check, guilty as charged. I'm cracking up. Um, but um, hey, listen. So let, and let me let me tell you this. So let I'm me. I'm only gonna be on here for a second to my little boot that ain't called back. But yeah. All right, I'm gonna just catch you up real fast. So I had my show on YouTube for an hour. We can, we took it over to Instagram. Uh, we're talking about the role. We were talking about the role versus weight decision that was made today by President Biden, the executive order, which basically overturned the decision that the Supreme Court made banning abortions. How do you feel about that? Did you know that that was made? No, not today. So um, this happened today. How do you feel about that? Now that that is done, how, how, what does that mean for women and your perspective as a woman? And do you feel like this is over with? No, it's not over with. They always try to find some type of way to control what we got going or how we do things or our rights as it like as gender it's like is it i don't know like for me personally i want to have kids i have no kids so it bothers me in a sense because it, you you never know what could happen in life like i'm not saying nobody gonna do nothing because i'll shoot a motherfucker dead and they shit but let somebody break me or something like that or like let one of my family members try me or some shit like that and get over on me and i get pregnant and i can wait a minute First of all, you have a speed pass down and you can just say what you just said. If I said what I just said, I would, uh, I would shoot the motherfucker. Shoot the black ass. Remember, your ass going to be on YouTube. Be careful. Just, I, just, I, 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 know you, I know you're just playing. I know you're just playing. So but you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna protect, protect yourself. You're going to defend yourself if you're in a, if you're in a life threatening situation. I said what the fuck I said, bitch. I got pushed and I have a I got pushed off a balcony last night and I have a fractured tailbone. So yes, I will fucking kill somebody for touching me. Period. I don't play them games. I'm this big. I am this big. By by no. defense. 
right? Yes, that is defense. I don't okay. Judge nobody. They all right. Judge me first. Let's, let's make sure we're saying that the 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 legal way. I'm not but, an right. antagonist. I'm not gonna go shoot somebody because they live in. All right. No. But, let, 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 let's, let's bring you back. We love you. We love you. Let's bring you back. Remember this. Remember? You shouldn't have, you shouldn't have stopped me on that talking about wait Show the feet. Feet is peace. Feet is peace. I can't put my feet up like that. My tailbone is fractured. I can't move like that. You, you see the candle of the evening tonight? Sage. Sage, sage. and cedar. Yes. It's not just sage. It's sage and cedar. Get it together. Well, we got to put some more water on what you just said. Up. Hell no. But no, I feel like personally, like, if something like that was happening and I, you know, it wasn't, it's I, about I don't have the option to, you know, to, you know, whether I'm keeping my child or not, like, that's not your choice as the government. Right. But um, but yeah, man, it's it, it was a good conversation. And then we was also talking about the um, the uh, she's um, hold on, she's skipping. She's skipping. We was also talking about the conversation from the other night. Uh, the the young lady that that joined. Oh my God, this is, oh God, this is, this live is popping tonight. All these people are joining. We was talking about the lady the other from the other night. But um, yeah, it was a good conversation, man. We had and all of you that are on here. Like I said, um, I'm live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 p.m. If my time changes, the only day it will change is on Wednesdays. So every you can catch my Instagram every every Wednesday. Yeah, I know, I know. But because I did Insta uh, YouTube for an hour. Um, I decided to take it over and carry it over to uh, the, um, Instagram. But I just want to know, um, how do y'all feel about the, um, if y'all agree with the uh, decision that was made today on Roe versus Wade, throw a one uh, in the comment section. And if you want to go live with me, you can go live with me. That's fine. Just uh, mute your... Um, if you want to mute your uh, video so you're not seen, that's cool too. But I'm going to go live again. I'm going to go live again on Monday. I'm going to live again on Monday. Um, 9 p.m. on YouTube, uh, and I'll let y'all know what that's all about. So until next time, I appreciate y'all. Just wanted to get on here a little bit and speak my piece. Uh, we just continue the conversation that we have from YouTube. And um, until next time.